Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Filling up at the gas station right now. And we're heading to Zion. So I got Ashley, Isabella, heading down on a little van trip in the Jayco. I figured I should do an intro when we actually start the trip. But I'll sync up with you here in a little bit. Okay. Thanks to Pilot for sponsoring this video. Friend of vans, RVs, RVs, vans, truckers. Pilot's always great place to stop. Clean bathrooms, good food. Let's see what they got. Tough day being a passenger, huh? I think I found it. Maybe someday when I'm grown older. Nice little stop. Nice little lunch stop. Refuel. I got the fire queso. Half pound fire queso burger. Corn dog, huh? Pizza, huh? Also been smashing so many bugs. So I snagged some windshield washer fluid. I was pumping gas and I wasn't there when Ashley and Isabella walked into Pilot, but apparently, what did you say when you got into Pilot? I was very amazed with all the stuff they had in there. It was crazy. <laughs> but what'd you say when you went into the bathroom? I was like, oh my gosh, even the bathroom is nice. Apparently she was a big fan of the Pilot. So thanks again, Pilot, for sponsoring the video. We are continuing our domination of the barren desert wilderness of Utah. All right, I have these lights dimmed down so there will be this weird frame rate thing. We made it to camp spot. Ashley's in bed. Isabel actually, she got her headphones in, but she's in bed up here too. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Uh, with a little curtain, give her some privacy up there. So I'll show you the setup in the morning when it's light out. Just wanted to let you know we made it uh, just to some, I think it's BLM land. I'll need to check again, but I downloaded some areas on Onyx and marked a couple <laughs> camp spots ahead of time and we made it here but I'll talk more in the morning because there's a lot of people here. But we found a nice little spot uh, and we'll go to bed now and I'll catch you in the morning. Ah, good morning. So here's the spot we rolled into late last night. Kind of cool cliff backdrop. 
out here. There's actually another spot. I may walk over there in a little bit. Right on the other side of that little ridge is a little stream uh, that Ashley and Isabella are out playing in right now. But here we are. Um, sun's finally kind of hitting the top, just coming up over that ridge, which I typically like a spot like this when it's going to be really hot out because then the heat doesn't sneak up on you quite so early and you're still comfortable while sleeping. It was actually pretty chilly. We had some windows cracked and the fan on and that kept it real cold in here last night. Actually, maybe a little bit too cold, but it wasn't bad. So we got this new RV mattress, kind of a topper, but so, so comfortable that we put on top of this. I'll do kind of a, probably a driveway after action breakdown. I don't like to film too much of this random nitty gritty stuff while I'm out camping. So I'll talk more about that when we're back home, but it's from Visco Soft and they basically custom made me this one to fit this thing, but you could kind of DIY it. I'll go over that later. I made a new front bunk for Isabella that I will talk about later as well. Really just a piece of plywood cut to shape. And then this mattress that I bought on Amazon that fits perfectly in here. I believe it's 62 inches. So perfect little bed and super wide this way. Perfect little bed for anybody basically in the low five foot range. And she's got lots of room to put all her stuff, little shelf up there. These are the blackout shades from Van Essential. So we put two in the windows that we opened up to wake Isabella up. But you can see how it's completely blacked out basically up front. And then installed those in the rear as well here. So this one, you can probably see no light getting through. Took this one off. So these are held in place with little magnets on the edges here. And then the little metal guys that you stick in around the window. So those are super nice as well. Um, but again, I'll kind of get into the breakdown of all of this stuff back at home. I'm gonna pack this bed up actually, go say hey to the ladies, and then we're gonna head out to Zion because the daylight is wasting. There are a lot of bugs out here. A lot of bugs. Basically, I'd clean the windshield and then within like a mile, it was just coated again. Gross. Gross, right? They came back from playing in the river already, so I gotta get their beds packed up and head out of here. <sighs> Build something on the old rug here. So it's drying out. Got the awning out to help shade the van a little bit. Getting freshened up to go do some hiking. Ashley loaded my Vertex bag for herself, so I had to get my second one. So we got matching contingency duffels going on here. It's very nice, brought my big hat, my big, big hat. This is the front bunk. I've made it to where it fits perfectly back in this little area. And yeah, we do have some breakfast to make, but I think we need to hit the road actually, because Ashley has a full agenda for the day and we kind of slept in. But I'll show you what we would have made this morning probably. It's just some breakfast tacos. And to make, oh, it's kind of full in here. We basically get little breakfast bowls and just dump them into a skillet or a pan. And so this is kind of the loadout, Lunchable type stuff, some actual Lunchables in the back there. Harvey's from last night, some stuff to make some BLTs, some chocolate milk, obviously. So we'll see what we do and what we just eat easy on the road. 
So the two girls here, we put some sticky mirrors on the inside of that door. Isabella is using that <laughs> rearview mirror over there. We may, we may need more uh, mirror solutions in this place. So yeah, you can see here, I downloaded some different resolution areas where I thought we were gonna camp and marked a couple waypoints here for potential spots and worked out. We're not at either of the specific spots I had mapped, but we found one nonetheless. So that's just in offline maps down here. And then you can kind of scroll through what you've downloaded. So those couple are what I used and it worked out. So yeah, code LLD will save you, I think 20% off of Onyx if you're into it. And now we're gonna head into Zion. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> you can keep dancing. <laughs> the YouTube wants to see the dance moves. Isabella, how about you? Nope. Nope, they're too shy. They're too shy. All right, well, we're gonna get packed up here and head out. You got some green tea? Yep. This is the nice thing about van life. Just open up the door. So we're getting ready to do the, what is it again? The Narrows. The Narrows. So we got our sweet water boots that we rented and some sticks and we're gonna head out. So, I'll bring a cell phone, probably film a little bit while we're there. Well, our bus broke down, so we're waiting for the replacement bus to come. It's bad luck. Thanks, Ashley.
first reality. You having fun? on a wall like this in my house. Despite the thousands of people here, it is epically beautiful. For sure. This part, huh? <laughs> Be sweet to have a little house back in here. Jump in. Yeah. Not very deep. Not very deep. Towards the end of the hike. Definitely fewer people. Nice little view. I'm on top of the van. And there's a nice little park though. All around. Hey guys, so back at home now, obviously, back in the driveway. So we were down there and I didn't really have a good transitionary anything to go from there to, to back home for the driveway breakdown. So we're just, we're here. And you guys know if you follow my channel, most of my adventure videos, I'm just out there and my primary objective is to have a good time with the people that I'm out with. Secondary is filming and making a video. So. I got distracted by just having a good time to <laughs> think of the transitions and everything. But we were down there. I also, Ashley and I, had a video slash photo shoot with our friends at Sweatpants Media. I can't talk about that project at all. I'll tell you guys about it later. But I had filmed kind of some stuff around that. But I was told by the client, let's not show anything at all. So sorry to leave you guys in the dark, but I had kind of planned that aspect a little bit into this trip, this video, but not gonna talk about it at all, other than Ashley and I were down there. You'll see some stuff later. I think it'll be really cool. I'm stoked on it. So we'll tell you more about that later, but I wanted to kind of do a driveway video breakdown of the van, kind of how we were living out of it for this, I mean, it wasn't a long trip by van standards at all, but how we lived out of it for four or five days and just kind of show you that. All right, so as you guys should know, this is the Jayco Terrain 4x4. I've kind of partnered with them on this build here. So Jayco's rad company makes a lot of uh, trailers. Pool behinds is kind of what they're known for, but they also make class A's, B's, C's. Um, this van here, so they make a sprinter. This is a sprinter 4x4 build out by Jayco. Previously, I had the Ram, they make a Jayco Swift, and that was just a front wheel drive. So now this is a four by four sprinter platform. So definitely able to handle much more of the stuff I'll be throwing at it. Even this little kind of like washed out, dirt, sandy place where we camped, I felt way more comfortable having four wheel drive than I would have with just front wheel drive in that thing. So really been enjoying this van. And so this is the back. Let's actually, we'll actually take a step back here. So we have backwoods bumpers, uh, front and rear with a Warren winch, factor, factor 55 ultra hook here. I do have discount code with backwoods. It's just LLOD and that'll save you 10% off. I also have their roof rack on top with some solar and awning and WeBoost and a bunch of other stuff 
up there. That has been great. It's awesome having this bumper and the winch, even though I haven't needed to use it yet for any extractions. I use winches quite a bit for all kinds of stuff. And then this backwards rear bumper. And the thing I like on this is this rear kind of integrated step to get up into there. So that's been nice. Also, this is a backwards box mounted on an Owl B2 carrier. So I have a bike rack up there as well. And this carrier mounts to these hinges here. And I really like having this box back here. So we can just throw muddy boots or whatever. It's not really that organized currently, uh, but this was something that we spilled and it was like soaking wet, so we just threw it in the box. So it's nice having the box out back, as you can see, pretty sizable, can hold quite a bit in there. And then on the other side over here is just the propane tank, Max Trax shovel. So that is sweet. That's also on an owl. That's called the Sherpa carrier over here. Uh, and then inside, I built this little guy here. So this is a bench slash microwave holder. This is a microwave that also has like an air fryer and a convection oven and all kinds of stuff. This is the most compact one. So it sits there and I built this to where it's flush with basically that door in the hallway. So you have the whole hallway length coming back here. I talk about this in a previous video, so just check my channel if you wanna if you wanna see more on that. But got a little table built in, a lagoon table, so we can hang out back here, watch something on the projector, or whatever we feel like back in this area. And then got a bunch of storage down in there, big box of storage. And then so I removed. There's like a there's like a little cubby here. Jayco gives that by default. And so I just cut and bent a big piece of Kydex to kind of cover that. I had this open because I'm still kind of messing with inverter settings and kind of flipping on and off solar. So I just kind of have that. I have the cover right back here actually, but having this open doesn't really bother me because I'm a tinkerer. And up here we got some storage. So I have like a Bluetooth speaker and some cables and stuff to set up the little mini projector and whatnot when I'm using that back here. And that window has been super nice. Uh, we just had the fan going. But also what we did quite a bit of when we were out filming with at undisclosed location with undisclosed companies is we hung out in the van a lot because there's a lot of downtime. So we're blasting that AC, just running it off this huge battery and that worked surprisingly well. Ooh, these are my favorite. So some other stuff I did was take this bungee and bungee it to a couple points that I put in here and here. And then that allowed me to store stuff up on this ledge. So suitcases or whatever, duffel bags really, and kind of strap them in and utilize that wasted space. I've talked about that and utilizing this wasted space. So I'll probably do the same thing where I can strap more stuff up here. So that way we're not just filling this hallway and that kind of happens. This is just kind of the garage of the van and everything ends up kind of going here. So I had this kind of folded up and tucked over there and then I'll have our duffels over there and we actually utilize uh, the storage shelves in the bathroom quite a bit as well. But this I'll show you in a second. This is the bed that I built for Isabella. I say built, really I just cut out a piece of plywood that fit right in there and that's about it. But I'll show you that in a second and then I'll link to all this stuff down below if you wanna do that as well. So inside here, actually I had found some CBD oil that we were trying on Canna for uh, Maple's car sickness. Uh, so Isabel was able to kind of stretch out on these chairs. Obviously, uh, you've seen the whole fan. These these chairs flip around, and it's a nice, it's really nice for for a longer trip or a shorter trip as well. So back here, let me show you some stuff on the bed here. So this drops down, obviously. So I just left it as is here. So the bed can't go quite as high when it's stuffed with bedding and pillows and blankets and everything, including the topper. So this topper here, you can kind of see, they custom made me. So I gave them some dimensions that probably weren't quite precise enough, but they cut out a basically perfect fitting memory foam topper. And this thing is nicer than sleeping on my bed at home now, honestly. So that, thick, super plush, 
very comfortable uh, that goes on top of the mattress makes this thing so insane so this is from viscosoft again they're not currently making this like custom fit but you can kind of buy one and cut it up and make it to make it to fit they made this for me because we we're kind of testing some things out and i wanted to try it out uh, so maybe i don't know maybe they'll make something in the future but we'd have to revise the shape a little bit because it's not quite perfect as you can see just because that's based on <laughs> the dimensions the kind of scribble drawing that i gave them this is the super fancy aeronaut quilt that we keep in here and then we have some cheaper blankets and stuff here this one's from shop uh go gear a go gear kind of smaller down throw so ashley and i have very different like body temperature uh and and heat and blanket requirements so we usually end up having like four blankets up here three of them for ashley to kind of take off and put on as she needs and i just have one to throw over me so this is kind of how it is in our bed as well just a a jumble of stuff but this man from viscosoft game changer they do make a lot of like regular sides for normal beds obviously this whole thing is just like a weird screwy size so it it doesn't really there's not a custom one for this yet but if you need something a little more standard traditional size man this i may get one for my my real bed and then so up in the front here this is in the sprinter for the Jayco because it's a pretty high spec one has memory seats. So I put three on both of these sides here to auto, I don't know if you can tell, auto move the seat back basically as low and far as they can go. So I basically just hit three in both of those and that is the mode basically when you flip them around, I have to flip them around first and then hit three and that'll move them back when they're flipped into kind of hangout mode. And then what I'm gonna show you real quick is this makes the most room up here for the bed that I made for Isabella. So for the front bed, you take this piece of plywood, which I've cut out to fit this area here. So this is, if you can tell, slightly shorter than the full width of this area and that's because i wanted it to fit under there so basically i made it as long as it could still fit under there and it covers enough and then once you put the mattress on it just kind of covers this whole thing so the mattress here again i'll link to all this stuff down below is just something i didn't have to modify at all bought it straight from amazon so as you can hopefully see here it completely perfectly fills the space it goes perfectly from door to door and it goes all the way back to here and all the way perfectly up to these cup holders here obviously there's a little bit of space in these wider portions uh, that it doesn't cover but this is plenty of room for a little kid to sleep actually i could probably sleep there in a pinch ashley could definitely sleep there and anyone small could and it kind of holds them in these seats kind of hold them in here and the other nice thing is i have this curtain over here so we can pull that across and then now it's completely separated now Isabella has her own little private spot up there to hang out and text people on her phone or whatever whatever kids do these days and we have the rest of the van back here and for the front here I just used some straps and strapped it to these handles what that means is you can't really open this door. If you try to open it a little bit, it kind of catches and will stop you. But just heads up, you could strap it to something that's not connected to the door, something up here maybe, or you could just make a little leg underneath. But this was the absolute easiest setup to kind of get the bed somewhat stable. And I made this bed literally the night before we left for our trip. So I just wanted something quick and easy. So yeah, that's how the van's been working out really well for us. A little family of three, a couple dogs that weren't on this trip. But yeah, even though it's a busy year for me building a house and all, hoping to take the family out on a handful more adventures in this thing. Uh, kind of a perfect national park cruiser uh, and kind of can boondock, go off road a little bit and just kind of camp somewhere for free that's beautiful. So if you know any good spots or recommendations or things that you think 
would be awesome that's within a day or two drive of Colorado. Chime in down below if you have any questions or anything like that. As always, ask them. I'll try my best to answer them. And I'll link to, I'll link to stuff down below. If you're wondering about something, this or that, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll give you a link for it. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, until next time, take care.